Hey, I'm Rich Coleman, and this is On The Job, a show dedicated to the hardworking employees of Dare County, where we're gonna go behind the scenes and show you what it's really like at some of these crucial Outer Banks jobs. Today, I'll be running along with Rob Preston, an environmental health specialist with the Dare County Department of Health and Human Services Environmental Health Unit. Today, Rob is doing a restaurant inspection. You know that sign that says like employees must wash their hands, it's actually a thing. I would hope so. Yeah. It's my wife's job to yell at me when I don't wash my hands. So oh, yeah. that's it there. I wash my hands. I definitely drive my family crazy. Yeah. <laughs> How long have you lived on the Outer Banks? Uh, well, you know, obviously grew up here, went to Wilmington for 11 years, and then Colorado for a year. So we've been back for about eight years now. I got you, but you're local, born and raised here? Mm hmm So what type of things do you look for when you're inspecting a restaurant? Um, anything that could get someone potentially sick. We're looking for temperatures, making sure cold temperatures, hot temperatures, cooking, reheating, thawing, cooling. Temperatures are a big part of it. Also the sanitizing, making sure we're sanitizing our food contact services, our dishes, um, all things like that. Looking for cross-contamination and making sure people, you know, washing their hands and doing it correctly. Um, making sure no one's in the kitchen sick. Um, you know, people don't want to call out because they don't want to miss any hours, but if they're sick, they really need to stay home. So we're looking for things like that. And then of course, the general cleanliness and maintenance. Uh, make sure all our equipment's working properly. So you kind of get the up and up on like the best restaurants. You're like, this is a great restaurant and I know the kitchen is pristine. Like oh, you, you have all that insider information. And the grade card is so important that when I go into a restaurant, if it's not one of mine and I've never been into it before, I look for the grade card because that's your indicator. And that's the, one of the reasons we do this because it shows their grade. It shows what you can expect. Um, and it's all encompassing. It's not, you know, for cleanliness, sanitation, all that stuff. But, you know, you if you see a B, that it's a pretty good indication you might want to not eat there. So if you had like a 94 in a grade in high school or college, you're like, score, that's yeah. a great grade. If you see 94 in a restaurant, uh, that's not that good of a grade, honestly. Okay. It doesn't mean that I wouldn't eat there necessarily, but they have some issues. Now, what about your family? You have family here? I mean, like kids, uh, wife? Yeah, so I'm married and I have two kids, 11 and 8. Awesome. These chefs and owners, they have so much on their plate. They have so much going on, just in general. You know, labor costs, food costs, keeping up with current trends. Um, now with Yelp and TripAdvisor, literally every customer is a potential food critic. Yeah. So they have a lot going on. And obviously, of course, the sanitation they have to keep up with. So us going in there, um, it isn't. I don't think anyone is excited to see the health inspector because no one wants to be inspected in any capacity. But a lot of times, if you get a good relationship with your establishments, um, when they see you, it's not complete dread. Yeah, they're like, like okay, here, like, here we yeah, go. And, okay. and a lot of times, if you get a good relationship with them, you just kind of tell them like the new food sciences that are coming out or new things that uh, the epidemiologists that are studying, um, like any kind of food trends. You're not there to punish and punish and punish. You're there to work with them. And teach them something new. Exactly. exactly. 